Hello, my name is Katie Wardrow and this is a Music Tech Tips tutorial. Welcome to tutorial 4, note entry with the MIDI keyboard and playback of your score. In the last tutorial, we looked at the method for entering notes into your score using a mouse and the speedier method of using your computer keyboard to select note values and pitches. Today, we'll look at a third method, which involves a MIDI keyboard. Before we get started, here are a couple of setup tips. Before you launch MuseScore, you should plug your MIDI keyboard into your computer and make sure that it's switched on. Then you're ready to launch MuseScore. Next, take a look at the top of your screen and make sure that the Enable MIDI input and the Enable Sound While Editing buttons are pressed. Now we're ready to enter notes. Essentially, the method is the same. We'll start off by selecting the bar or rest where we want to start entering notes. Next, press the letter N to go into note entry mode. Then I'll select a rhythmic value using the numbers on my computer keyboard. I need a dotted crotchet, so I'll select crotchet by pressing 5, and then I'll press the dot. Next, I need to select the pitch of the note, but instead of using the letters on my computer keyboard, this time I'll press the note D on my MIDI keyboard. I can continue this way, selecting rhythmic values on my computer keyboard and playing the pitches on my MIDI keyboard until all the notes are entered. This method is fast because I can instantly choose the correct octave for the notes I'm entering. Next, I'd like to hear my score so that I can check the notes that I've entered. I'll press the play button at the top of my screen so that MuseScore enters play mode and my score starts playing back from the beginning. I can click on the pause button to pause playback at any time, but I can also use the spacebar to start and pause playback without using the mouse. If you want some more playback options, you can go to Display, Play Panel. There are options here for adjusting the volume level of your score and increasing or decreasing the tempo. You can also alter the position of the playback line using this slider. Thank you. 